様が御言葉をくださるとどうなるのか私たちの罪が全て許されます My life is never be the same again. My goal in life, the moment I understand this, is to reach out other minister in the Philippines and teach them the redemptive history. So when we go back to the Philippines, me and my wife is very busy sharing this good news. Sometimes, I, because of my passion and dedicated dedication to share this message. To, to the minister in the Philippines, I, I drive my car almost 13 to 14 hours just to reach other minister in the province. Going there 13 to 14 hours, coming back in Manila is another 13 to 14 hours. And please pray for me. My heart is really crying because I want them to understand the last message of God. This is the last message, the trumpet that we are going to sound in this end time. Amen. So all of us must rise up, walk in it, live it, and share it to others. This is the labor work of our dear Reverend Abraham Park. And don't waste our time. We are called to do this. We benefited this work. The Book of Abraham Park. Hi, I'm Reverend Dr. Albert Isaac, the Senior Pastor of World Harvest Church in Malaysia. Today I just want to share with you how the History of Redemption series seminars have been a tremendous blessing to us here in Malaysia. Just a few years ago, uh, we heard about this wonderful teaching uh, by uh, Reverend Abraham Park and um, we had the privilege of hosting uh, two of these seminars in Malaysia and um, I just want to say how much a blessing it has been to all of us here pastors leaders church members Bible school students have been blessed by the teachings of Reverend Abraham Park I must say that personally I've seen that there are four things that I've learned uh, about the teachings of Reverend Abraham Park especially through the uh, History of Redemption series. Firstly, it's very biblical. I have realized that this teaching is so Bible-based, it is so solid scripture that every child of God should take time to learn it and to experience it themselves. The second thing I've experienced about this teaching is that it is revelational. You know, Reverend Abraham Park received this revelation many, many years ago when he went by himself in the mountains of Korea and he sought the Lord. And God gave him revelation uh, in the scriptures. And his immense ability to, to explain uh, these deep truths have really challenged us and, and opened our understanding to much more in the scriptures. The third thing that I've uh, discovered about uh, this History of Redemption uh, series is that it is deeply insightful. Reverend Abraham Park has tremendous insight and deep insight into the teachings of the Word of God. It has truly revolutionized the way we read the scriptures. You know, the, the parts of the Bible which most people don't like to read, for example, the the genealogies, the genealogies of Jesus, the Genesis genealogies, parts where most people don't want to read. But what he has done and he has brought it out in, in such a very easy and simple way that anyone could understand it. And we thank God for that. The fourth thing that I've discovered about this whole teaching series is that it points to Jesus. It truly points to the Lord and our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. If there's anything that I, as a pastor, want to do all the time, is to point people to Jesus. There's no better person for us to point people to 
than to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And Reverend Abraham Park, through this series of teachings, has drawn a very clear line in the scriptures that points us straight to Jesus himself. And everything that he teaches points us back to Jesus. And for me, I'm very passionate about that. I'm passionate about pointing people back to Jesus. So I encourage every one of you who's watching this video to be a part of this seminar and to receive as much as you can. Come with a heart willing to learn and to receive. And I assure you that the Holy Spirit of God will speak to your heart. And he will encourage you and He will lift you up and you will be blessed. Your future will never be the same again. How you see the Bible, how you see the scriptures will never be the same again. You will experience a move of God in your life that will change your whole future. So God bless you. May you enjoy this teaching and be blessed in every area of your lives. God bless you in Jesus' name. I strongly recommend that every Christian would read the History of Redemption book series because of two reasons. Number one, because of the contents of the books. And number two, because of the life quality of the author. Many Christians generally do not understand the meaning of genealogies in the Bible. That's why when we read the Bible, we often skip the parts of the Bible that contain the genealogies. But when I start to read the History of Redemption book series written by Dr. Abraham Park, I come to realize that the biblical genealogies are actually very interesting and very important for us to understand the plan and the will of God because they reveal the summary of the history of God's redemption which is found in the Bible as a major theme of the Bible. The books give sound and profound teachings from the Bible since they have been written thoughtfully and very carefully until every detail is precisely presented. Every single name that is mentioned in this book of genealogies becomes so meaningful and gives very important life lessons to us. That is why I have been helping to conduct seminars to teach this book series in several cities of Indonesia, including in my own Bible seminar in Malang, where there were about 500 pastors, church leaders, and Bible school students for, from all of the churches in my state. If they came and they enjoyed the seminar and they testified that they have been blessed so much by the seminar. My wife and I are also pro promoting the books anywhere we are preaching or teaching in Indonesia and beyond. But my recommendation is also based on the life quality of the author, Dr. Abraham Park. As I know him more and more, I finally come to conclusion that Dr. Park is actually a man of God. It was because of his love and hunger towards the biblical truths that is finally he devoted himself to prayer and reading of the word. Even he fasted for many, many days. I have never encountered someone who spent three years, six months, and seven days to be in the peak of a high mountain just because he wrestles to understand the truths of the Bible and he strongly desires to grasp the meaning of every single biblical truth very well. Dr. Park has read the Bible hundreds and thousands times from cover to cover. No wonder his study is so precise and profound. And because he is also devoted himself in prayer. So I have heard so many testimonies from my friends where they said that they have received miracles from God as Dr. Park prayed for their special needs. 
Someone has even told me that his mother who is about to die of serious disease has been granted more than 10 years of extra life. Dr. Park is also a hardworking person who does practical works himself. And although he has accomplished so many great things in his life and ministries, but every time I had a chance to talk with him, I always felt that this is really a humble man and servant of God. Praise the Lord. If you are a sincere Christian, what else are you seeking more than books that are rich with the biblical truths written with a man of God? So, I pray that you will be blessed abundantly by the Lord as you read this quality book series written by a man of God, Dr. Abraham Park. We read uh, to the teaching that we have learned so far uh, through the redemptive history, a seminar. A lot of us, uh, for the first time, they have been exposed uh, to such uh, an understanding of the redemp redemptive purpose of God that given to, uh, to mankind. So indeed, I believe that through uh, learning uh, the seminar, as we attend the seminar and through the books that we read, it will help to build up our faith, first of all, and also that we will be able to understand the big picture, what God has given to mankind in terms of understanding redemption, uh, especially for mankind. So in that way, we are benefiting directly and we felt that, that over the years, even the last uh, three years, today is the fourth year already that we are going through the series and we have benefited tremendously that we want to encourage especially more churches to be able to come and uh, be benefited from listening and also learning about the redemptive history.